Take it, please. Ah, oh, student car. Must be going home to see your family. That should be nice. Would be. Though still living. Excuse me, uh, have you got room? Yeah, we've got one left. 20 quid a night. 20 quid a night? Uh, I was hoping to stay for two, but I've only got 30. We're going to stay for one night then. Simple math. 20 quid, yeah? Yeah. Upstairs on the left. Breakfast is at eight. Out by them.
going back to Paul's house for uh, you know how's it coming? I'm gonna stay around here for a bit. I'll catch up with you. I didn't mean it. I mean, camera shop for all of us, and no one's actually popular around here. Yeah, when the shit hits the fan, everybody gets covered. I'm the one who gets it done. What's, what, what's that supposed to mean? It means when Robert takes his life and decides to mess around with it, I'm the one who fucking. There's nothing you can do about it. It's just the way people see. Everybody needs someone to blame. A random hit and run, and I'm miles away, yeah, everybody blames me. Anyway, if you were still like me before I left, you'd probably have heard yourself. I mean, I know he's a wild one, but I don't think he would have risked his own life. Maybe he risked his life unaware of the consequences. He sent me his diary some days ago. Should read it. So how long are you staying there for? I don't know. Just tonight. I'm not exactly wanted around it. I didn't think you'd come back after the charming incident. No, nah, neither did I, to They think around me and reminded me of it. Apparently he knows who you uh, grasped him up. Oh yeah? Who? Apparently he's one of his boys. Matt? Ah uh, yeah, I'm not surprised. I'm not trusted him anyway. Hold up a minute. Yeah, no worries. Phone number. Yeah. Not that you ever call it. I've still got it written down my wallet somewhere. I'm sorry, never saw the light of day. I always waited for you to call. And I was always disappointed. I gave up in the end. Hey, hold it up. Fine, I guess. I've never been to a funeral before. It's still kind of weird. Yeah. It's not a very nice experience, unless the person in the box is someone you don't like. Sorry. How have you been? Yeah, I'm fine, I suppose. How about you? What's life been throwing at you? <sighs> Life's bad as always. It's just got worse. What are you doing out here? I just wanted to be in the fresh air. You know, clear my mind. Think about Martin. I'm sorry about leaving. I had to, though. My life was going downhill. I had to get away. Start fresh. I understand. I just wish I could have come with you. But it was complicated at the time. Anyway, I've settled here without you now. Ouch. I'm glad you've changed. I never liked that tough attitude of yours. I am a changed person. I'll never go down that path again. I never knew why you were like that anyway. It's just the crowd I fell into. Hello? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I'll, I'll be out in a minute. Rich is gonna take me home now. I must say, I've, I've missed it. How is he? Still an arsehole. Anyway, see ya. Yeah. Hey. No any tricks? Hundreds. Pick a card. Put it back.
Who's the car guy? No one seems to know his name. They call him the uh, magician. Does he always talk in code? Why? Something he said. Something I didn't understand and he, he wouldn't explain. But if you want my advice, magicians are a waste of space. Okay? Nobody knows anything about him. It's as if he scared what people might think. He didn't even tell anybody his name. Well, it's just what he said to me, you know? Something about Martin. He was in trouble. He did something bad. And if he's not going to use his tongue, I have to find someone that will. You know, I'll be staying for a couple days. Stick around, sniff out the seat. I'm going to go to the toilet. What's this? Oh, yeah. Um, yeah, Martin gave it to me, uh, funnily enough, on the on the day he was killed. Is there anything to you when he give it to you? No, um, just give it to Mark. I thought it was quite weird because... Um, I'm going to see you. He must have known he was going to happen. He must have known he would have died as well. It's a key. It's like a key. It says 134. It's up with 152. They'd have cleaned out his locker by now. So anything that he didn't want him to see would have been in another one. You in for this one? Yeah, 100%. I want to find out who killed him just as much as anyone else. you got someone to cover you in classes, yeah? Sure. you got a mobile? Yeah. Write down your number just in case you need to get over here. What if I need to call you? Um, I have to leave you hanging there. Someone snatched my phone the other day. Welcome to Amit. What are you saying tonight? I don't think you've got enough money to stay in another night in the B&B. What are the blocks? Plenty of rooms. Nah, I don't think I'll stay there. Bad blood and all. I think I'll check out the shack. That can't kill. Oh, one more thing before you go. How come Sonny left the funeral and never came back in? Sonny and Martin were best mates. Probably didn't take it. Alright, I'll see you tomorrow. Alright, mate. Can I help? I'm uh, looking for Mitch. Mitch isn't here anymore. He went to university. He asked me to look after the place. Is there anything I can do? I need a place to stay. Uh, Mitch will serve for stay any time. Oh, yeah, sure. Just come in. I'm top. You use this place to smoke drugs then? No chance there. Well, I can't do it at home. I'm not even going to get up my back. So why are you staying here? I'm home from uni, I've got nowhere to stay. How can this be home? I've got no place to stay. You know, he may be stoned, but he's making a good point. Here for my brother. Oh yeah? What's he done? He's got himself killed. Oh, shit, man. Sorry, what happened? I don't know, but I'm going to go find out. Get noise down, yeah? Or oh, what? for the next couple of days. It's the only thing you need, I'm here. I've been gone for almost a year, and everything's changed. Come on. I'll wait until it dies down a bit, then we're back in class pushing pencils, and we're going to see what's in that offer.
met you. What are you doing here? But you've gone back to uni. Listen, this thing with Martin, something's not right. He was murdered. Oh, no. No, not, not by a stranger. It was planned. He had something that he wanted. I'm going to stick around for a couple of days, find out who. And when I do, I'm going to make him pay. You just can't help it, can you? I thought you'd grown out of all of this. I thought you'd moved on, got a new life. But no, you just can't help yourself but just get involved in stupid criminal games. You said it yourself, you're a changed person. I am. Well, I can't let this go. You can end up getting hurt. Just please. Please just forget about it. Please. For me. He's my brother. If you just want to go and throw it all away, then fine. But I'm not going to stand by and watch. Find anything in the locker? About ten grand worth of ecstasy. Really? Why would Martin have ten grand worth of ecstasy in his locker? I don't know. Drugs are everywhere these days. Ten grand? Was he selling? Well, he was working for a drug dealer. I think they call him the Persian dealer. He did? What? Nothing. Was he foreign? No, no, no. It's some, some company around this land. I don't know much about him, but I know he's not to be messed with. I don't even know if he exists. So Martin took the gear and Persia dealt with it? Well, I don't really know. You see, not many people have seen the Persian. He works outside of school. He's got scouts on the inside. Possible, but, but not believable. Why? The magician guy said he could have saved him, but it was too late. If he was stealing gear, he obviously knew the consequences. If you work for a tough guy, you don't piss around stealing. If you do, you know what's going to happen to you. And if you know what's going to happen, you get out of there ASAP. He was killed the same night he stole the gear. Do you think it was framed? He had the key. He gave it to you. He knew the gear was in the locker because he put it in there. He wasn't framed. More likely set up. This might be a long shot, but you could try a guy called Sam. Hangs around the workshop at lunchtime. Why? Who is he? Amazing little shit. Sticks his face in other people's business. Doesn't have many friends. Although he is someone to rely on for information. He's got a little business going. Stick around here. I'll be back. What time is it called this? Yeah, mate, what are you doing then? I was coming yesterday. That's right. Mum was good friends. Just a little bit confused why you have to leave early. How's work? Boss is right, arsehole. Uh, it's working, eh? Yeah, I worked down the uh, Crown Pub. Taking glasses, cleaning. It's menial, but a case. We've got to start at the bottom, mate. You've got a car, though. Have you? Yeah, BW Polo. Nice. Silver. What about you? How's uni? Uh, you know, dull. Listen, what happened to mine? What do you mean? Well, do you think he was really killed for his wallet? Honestly, no. When he left for the actual uni, he ended up working for a guy called the Persian Dealer. I've heard that name before. Any information on this dealer? 22, tough guy, not to be messed around with really. My guess is, Martin screwed around, Persian dealt with him. Sounds like Martin, but I'm getting this feeling he was unaware of what he let himself in for. Someone else was screwing around at his expense. You know where I can find this dealer? I'd like to pay him a visit. Nah, you don't find him, he finds you. <laughs> There's a cliche. If no one knows him well, try Shannon. She's a Persian girl, in fact, she likes to play the field. She was cheating on the Persian with Martin, that's probably why he killed him. Sounds very likely. Anyway, do you hang around for a couple of days? Yeah, just a couple of days. Did you come to the party tonight? Yeah? What time? 8.30, 12 Lisbon Road. It's kind of like an end of the year thing. Select people only, but I'll get you in. I might check it out. Listen, I've got to get to class. I'm really late as it is. Alright, I'll see you around. Hey, what it is, Mr. West is looking for you, and if he finds you, will flip. I better stay loaded. Um, why don't you go get Santorini? I've got to speak to someone. And I'll meet you in a couple when I'm done. Okay. See you later. Another word? God, I can't believe that. Hey, who? Who are you, babe? Who do you think you are? No, you know it's bad for your health. You're Shannon. What's your name? You're Persian's girl. Who are you? Are you cheating on the page with Mike D? 
Price is going to be paid for its return. Looks like a bit in it. Locker. Maybe I'll check it out. Maybe you won't. What? You stay away from that locker. You forget about it. And if I find out you went near it, I'll be after you. Sure. Y you mean it is in his locker? I didn't say that. Now forget what you saw, I understand? Scum brother, not a good idea. Um, so you're a Persian dealer. You killed my brother. I heard you investigate his mysterious death. Detective Raymond Chandler. Raymond Chandler was the author. If I killed every Tom, Dick, and Harry, I'd make Stalin look like Jack the Ripper. I don't care about Shannon. She's more of a trophy girlfriend. Oh yeah? And why are you so angry when I was talking to her? Method of fear. I burn you with questions about her. If you crumble, I know what sort of person you are. And judging by your reaction, you seem like a stand-up guy. Know your boundaries. Unlike your brother, if I was to have killed him, I would have done it for a much more important reason. Messing with you? Of course. He was working for me. I needed a large delivery maid. Down to London. The night he picked up my gear was the night he was found dead. Minus my gear. I had no reason to kill him. He was on a job for me. Next thing I hear, he's on the news dead. Either somebody's mugged him and taken my gear, or he's hit it somewhere. Either way, I don't give a flying fuck. I just want my gear back. Am I supposed to believe that load of shit? 
Believe what you want. I really don't give a rat's ass. I've got more important things to worry about than whether you trust me or not right now. I could kill you right now, chop you up and throw you away. From what I hear, not many people like you anyway. So not many people are going to miss you. It would be just like you never existed. Why not? You could do me a favour. I don't have a reason to, yet. If you're going to cause me trouble, you little shit. What if I told you I could get you gear? I taught you until you told me so I could get it myself. The way I'm a I don't actually know where it is, but I can easily find out. Oh yeah? And what do you want in return? Money? Because I ain't interested. I'd rather kill you and never find it. It's a little simple than that. I need to move around school, but I can't be fucking west from my way. you got a scouting school. I know a few, but they're busy. I need them kept away, off my back for a few days. When I find my brother's killer, you get your gear. But what if you can't find my gear, Sherlock Holmes? Whoever killed my brother, killed him for the gear. So when I find a killer, I'll get your gear. How do I know I can trust you? I don't even know you. I thought you said I was a stand-up guy. True, but that method's failed in the past. Well, you want my trust. Well, I can offer you the clean handshake. Good idea. <laughs> That's what I call a handshake. Make sure you don't forget it. You call it when you get it. You fail me, you're a dead man. I need to know where Shannon is. I think she's in the drama studio rehearsing Romeo and Juliet. Why? Martin was working for the Persian the night he was killed. We asked her to lift some gear down in London. The only person who could have found out about it who was close enough to the Persian was Shannon. She's the only one that could have planned to kill him. Did you kill Martin? What? No. Don't lie to me. Did you kill him? No. Have you seen the Persian and he said he was delivering gear for him the night he was killed? Yes. You killed him and stole the gear? No. Then what? Alright, he was fed for that reason. What happened? The head. Excuse me? The head. He deals the drugs on the east side, the Persian does the west. The head told me he knew about me and Martin and he was going to blab to the Persian unless I helped him. The Persian already knew about you and Martin? Not then he didn't. Anyway, the Persian developed a new formula for his ecstasy. He can make them cheaper and still give them the desired effect. The head wanted to sample so that he could start producing the fame. He knew I could get it because I had access. I told Martin what happened and he told me he was going to do the delivery of the gear so that he could get it for me. The person somehow knew what Martin was going to do. So he killed him and made it look like he was mugged. The gear was missing though. This is bullshit. I swear that's what happened. What happened to the gear? I think Martin hit it before he was killed. I don't know. You expect me to believe that? From what I've heard, you're a pretty good actress. It's not the same as a compliment. True. Okay, Have already. I was just bending the tree stand. It was acting. Could Heather got the gear? No. Martin was found on the west side. They don't cross the line. So Persian's lying? We won't tell the truth to anyone he doesn't trust. Just trust you? Why do you keep pestering me? There are people out there who know more than me. What happened to innocent until proven guilty? That went out the window a long time ago. Welcome to guilty until proven innocent. I'm on your side. I'm one of the good guys. There are no good guys. What happened when you didn't give Heather the gear? I told the Persian that we were Martin. He always do that. He doesn't really seem to care about you. This one's different. I'll get the truth. Any news? Yeah. Nothing in this town simple. I'm not even honest. As I said before, welcome back to Hamlet. So what does Shannon say? Give you a bag of bull. She's got a story. Seems to fit. Said she was blackmailed and taking the gear. Martin did it for her. Paid the price. She put the proof. She can't get away from it. So what's the plan? I don't know. Anything I hear from someone sounds true. I can't help this gut feeling. Makes me feel like I'm being spun in a web. Who's the head? The head? Eastside drug dealer. What is this Eastside Westside crap? The town's divided into two by the train track. There's the east and the west. The Persian runs the west, the head the east. If they keep it that way, everybody's happy. Maybe crosses the bridge into opposite territory. Martin was found on the west side, which means the head would have needed to cross to kill him. Unlikely. Only if Martin had rare expensive gear the head wanted. I'm sure if that were the case, he'd risk a lot to get it. It still revolves around a new formula. You know about it. People talk. The head only spoke to Shannon. How do you know Martin had it? Both sides have eyes and ears everywhere. The head probably had someone tailing Shannon. I really don't like this Shannon. 
This one cheating bitch. If I had a quid for every time she's lied, cheated or stolen, I'd be a rich man. I need to confirm their story. I don't believe it. The only option is to find the head. I don't know where you can find him, but Sonny works for him. Sonny? When Martin went west, Sonny went east. Sonny at the time was a little pissed about Martin leaving. I remember that little game. So he went for the opposing side? Envy. What a sin. Okay, here's what I want you to do. Tell Sonny I want to see the head. And if he questions you, tell him it's about the missing gear. But whatever you do, don't tell him I've got it. Understand? Okay. You going to this party tonight? Well, I've been invited, so, yeah. See you tonight. Hey, what do you want? What's with the sunglasses? It's cloudy. So people can't know me. Eyes are the window to the soul. I don't like to be red. That only causes people to ask questions. What is it you want? Just to talk. About your brother? I don't know anything. I just need to know who, so I can get to the end of this before it all gets out of hand. I won't tell anyone it was you. If I blab to you, it doesn't matter whether you grass or not. I'm a dead man. Come on, just a name. I'm sorry, I can't. Please. All I can say is the person you're looking for is close. Who are you? I'm a friend of Sonny's. That's right, he's uh, with me. Find this kitchen, I need a drink. You want me to pause our social guy? Um, post all the parties, really. Listen, I'll tell you what I mean with the heads. One, well, you'd be a bit hesitant at first, but once you've got the gear, you'll be alright. But I haven't got the gear. What? Just tell him if he meets me, the way we go. I'm sure. Look, I'll go here and find someone. Sit down, enjoy yourself, do whatever you want. I'll come find you later, right? I'll be fine. Holy shit, it's Mark Deacon. Hey, man, how are you? I'm good, mate. How about you? Not too good, mate. Uh, oh, yeah, I heard about you rubbing out and stuff. Good kid. Obviously, not good enough. Anyway, how are you? Yeah, well, I've uh, got a job. Yeah, the jit job. Do what? It's delivery. Same living in high life, man. Yeah, I know, it's not brilliant, but you know, I get free pizza. Oh, okay. Every day. <laughs> Can't sit and catch up. <laughs> so what exactly happened with your brother, man? I mean, I heard it was a mugging, but that just sounds like the police being lazy. It's what me to find out. And they're down to a couple suspects. Four or five. They got into trouble with the head of the phone. <laughs> no surprise there. Two rivals willing to do anything to get what the other one has. Even killed, I should know. What do you mean? I work for both of them. Oh really? I want to know. It's a long story. No, I've got one. Remember when we both worked for Charlie? How can I forget? We left the firm for me, Charlie. Yeah. Well, I met this guy called Robert Pierce, a bit of a science geek. Made a lot of drugs, mainly cannabis. Then he moved on to Ed. He supplied a man known as the Persian dealer. I went to see him and he liked what he saw, offered me a job. Now, at this point, I must stress, nobody knew the Persian dealer. He was small time, and Charlie was top dog. When Charlie got put away, the Persian could spread his business. He learned from Charlie's mistakes. Never got involved in the dealing. Hence, Persian has scouts from our schools who do it for him. So how did you end up working for the head? Well, I was out on a delivery, and the client was the head. I was taking a couple of bags to him. To cut a long story short, he told me what he was planning and offered me a job. I was to be like a mole in the Persian set. I'll report back on what he's up to. Just such. I was the one who told him about the new formula, which he's now trying to get his hands on. When did all this happen? I delivered to the head four months after you left. Wait, you never mentioned it? You of all people should know you never talk, no matter what. The shit only gets deeper. From the moment I started working for the head, I had to stay alone and keep quiet about myself. So what happened? Persian found out. Didn't kill me though. I ended it with the head and decided to go legit. I actually remember the day your brother met Persian. I tried to stop him, but he wouldn't listen. You know who your brother is. It's like we're living in a criminal underworld. We're gonna get sucked in by the money. Doesn't matter how much money you make, it's inevitable. Yeah, well, I want to. I'm gonna bring it down. Both of them are lies, not to be trusted or messages. Persian calls a cut on a hand a sign of trust. 
What he doesn't tell you is that there's no such thing with him. How did you get that? I sold my soul making a deal. My brother's died because he was a missing next tablet. I told him that when I find a killer, I find him his gear. What's so the don't find him gear? I want to tell his soul, but he'd be careful if he finds out you've had it all along. You won't hesitate to impale you. Yeah, I know. Let me take a leave. Right. Hey, Mark. I want you to meet Lisa. I saw you speak today. Well, you didn't get me to laugh. Amazing, I just want to say. Oh, sorry, I'm sorry. I saw you with that bitch, Shanty. Whoa, calm down. She's actually not. She stole my boyfriend, so I stay away from her if I was you. What colour is this? Good advice. I'm serious, she's a lying bitch. I hope she fucking gets what's going to her. Why are you hanging around to be angry? I think she knows something about my brother's dead. I wouldn't be surprised. She had him wrap around her little finger like every other bloke. If you asked me if he had something she wanted, she probably would have killed him for it. Are you serious? Like I said, I wouldn't be surprised. <laughs> fucking bitch. You might want to be careful. I think I saw her already. If she comes near me, I'll kill her. I'm going to take her away for a bit and get her another drink. Okay, I'll be with you in a minute. Nice meeting you. Why do you think they need to cool me down? You were sweating, common sense. Why is it no guy can resist me? You can. Maybe you should ask yourself the same question. Maybe. Maybe it's the only time to do. I'm sorry, my mind doesn't work that way. Plus, from here, the goods are damaged. I stand corrected. That did feel good. And anyway, since I find some evidence, I'm coming for you. I'm not in a nice way, so you better be ready. Somewhere up and then go back to live in the quiet life. I don't know what you're on about. You should have come back here. Charlie's rotting in a cell because of you. Go down for murder. situation on me in the head. I'll be waiting under the bridge near the Blackbird in half an hour.
You run, we'll find you. Give it up, Mark. This isn't personal, just revenge for what you did. Revenge is personal. <laughs> Oi, drop the knife. Get out of here, it's got nothing to do with you. Do as you're told, you'll be sucking the rest of your meals for a straw. Piss off. You've got a choice. Leave now, or you can be leaving in a vehicle that has flashing lights and a siren. Let him go! Good boy. Now piss off. What now? Get caught. Pleasure. Is there somewhere we can go? We can sit? I'd rather stay here. I understand. You're a line I've come across. Just my kid. So, I understand you know where the missing gear is. I don't know where it is, but I can get it for you. That's it? What makes you think you can get to it before I mine then? My brother was killed for it. And when I find his kid, I'll find the gear. And when I do, it's yours. And what do you want for this? Information. Information about what? Information about my brother's death. I don't know. I haven't asked you anything yet. Look, whatever it is you're going to ask, I'm sure you I don't know what you're talking about. But if you think I've killed your brother, Fucking wrong. Nah, you couldn't have killed him. I'm sure you haven't killed him because you had the gear on him that night, which means you'd have it. And then you wouldn't be interested in talking to me unless you're keeping up fucking appearances. So what are you going to ask? Did you blackmail Shannon to get you the gear? Excuse me? Word is, you knew Shannon was cheating on Persia with mine, and if he didn't help you, you were going to spill the beans. Look, I don't know where you got that from, but it's bollocks. Well, how else were you going to plan to get the gear? To be honest, it's none of your business. But you want to find your brother's killer, and I want to find that gear. So if you think it will help you, I'll tell you. It only works for me. You were screwing around with Shannon at the time behind Persons' back. I only needed the new formula, and so I offered Sonny ten thousand pounds if he could get me a sample. I knew we could persuade Shannon to help, and it would be easy for her to get a sample if she has access. But unfortunately, Sonny failed, but I didn't hold it against him. He was very apologetic, very pathetic, actually. Sonny's with Shannon. Yeah, why? I never mentioned that even met. They had no good together. Look, your brother was working for Persia. That bitch might have got him involved. She has that power. She can make a man jump off the cliff by the front of her eyelashes. Did Sonny and Shannon know he was delivering that night? I don't know. Sonny came from killing. If the price is right. What if the price is 10 grand? What? Hey! In the card. Can't wait to find it. What's the bag for? I'll tell you tomorrow. Did you meet the head? I did. And it opened my eyes to the truth. Now we're in the end game. Part two. The point where the tables turn and the others get the receiving end. So you know who did it? I'll see you tomorrow. Okay. Rachel, it's Mark. Don't hang up. I really need to talk to you. Meet me in the park in an hour.
come. So why am I here? It's not good news, I take it. I'm sorry. I know you think this is all in my head, but Martin was murdered, and I know by who and how. That's not the point, Mark. If there was foul play, it's for the police to find out. Yeah, but they didn't, so it's a good job I intervened. You were willing to risk everything. Your future, your life. He's my brother. Of all people, I thought you'd understand that. This isn't about that, though, is it? It's something different. After you left, I forced myself to get over you. Martin helped. And when you came back, all these feelings for you came flooding back. I was angry at you for leaving me. I was more angry that you didn't tell me why you left. I had to. If I was ever going to make a decent future, it was university. University wasn't the reason. It was a solution. You were never interested in it before. You never even mentioned it. It was just an excuse for you to get away. Tell me why. Do you remember Charlie? The one who went to prison? Yeah. Do you know why I went to prison? No. No one does. Because I kept it all quiet. It was all part of Mr. West's cover up. What about him? I used to work with him. Before he went to prison. What? We were good friends. He'd make the gear, and a few of us would deliver it to the regular customers. You were a drug dealer? At the time. The money outweighed the guilt. Anyway, there was this one kid we sold to. Daniel. You know him? No. Again, nobody did. Daniel was weak, small, not like anyone else. He regularly got bullied. I guess you could say we were his only friends. He bought the stuff of us once a week. He said the stuff helped him to get by. Made him happy. Gave him confidence. One day he went to deliver the stuff and he said he didn't have the money to buy it. But he desperately needed it. So I, I took pity on him. I let him have it on the condition that he pays double next week. Next week came and he didn't have the money. Four weeks passed, no money. I tried to warn him, but he just cried off another week. He just said he'd have the money. Next week came and Charlie paid him a visit with the rest of the lads. Charlie was convinced he had the money. He was scamming us. He always used to rough people up he didn't pay. You know, kick him around a bit just to scare him. He never went any further, but Charlie flipped. I don't know what happened. I couldn't do anything. I wanted to, but I didn't. I just watched him beat this poor little kid to his black and blue. This poor kid who didn't have a friend in the world. Who was... Could have stopped it, but I didn't. Daniel died four hours later in hospital. Wesker made sure anyone who asked questions was to be told to move schools. I guess nobody wants their school to be known as dangerous. I spent the next two days in remorse thinking about what I'd done. The only way I could remove the guilt was to snitch. Once Charlie had been arrested, it was only a matter of time before he found out what I'd done, so I made a deal with Wesker. He helped me to get into university in return for spitting on Charlie. I'm sorry. And now the same thing has happened to my brother. The only difference is the people that are doing it are getting away with it scot-free. Are you going to kill them? No. I'm just going to go and make them pay for what they did to my brother. I promised my mum I'd look after him, and I failed. But it wasn't all my fault. It's time to share the blame. Am I supposed to just accept this? No. But I want you to turn a blind eye. I want you to come back to London with me as well. What? I want you to come back with me. Stay with me, get a job. And when I finish uni, we'll get a place together. I can't. Please. I don't want to leave you here again, but I can't stay here. Especially after going all through this. I'll be leaving tomorrow. There'll be a taxi waiting outside school midday. I've got to go. Wait. Give me your phone. What? Just give me your phone.
deny you two are friends. We're not. Just want to play. You don't have any money? No. But I have this. And what is that exactly? This key opens a locker. Inside this locker is the Persian's missing gear. It's worth ten grand. You do realise my boss is looking for that? Yes, but I'm giving you a chance to win it back for yourself. You're lucky. But all that matters in here is poker. What's in the bag? My clothes. I'm leaving tonight. You travel light. Check it. Mm. You seem to know him well. Is he a stand-up guy? I wish I could say no. I haven't trusted anyone in a long time. It's time to start it again. You're in. How's that going to work? He hasn't got any money. The amount of chips I lose is equal to the percentage of what's in that locker. Give him the chips. Let's begin. Buy down. I know he put me in front of the bullet, but I don't know who pulled the trigger. I have an idea, but only you can confirm it. You don't get it, do you? If I talk, I'm with your brother six feet under. I'm not talking so you can go suck a lemon. One game of high card. If I win, I get information. If you win, you get all I'm not talking. Then write it down. I'm being kind. Either way, I'm leaving here with a name. I'm doing it your way. There you go.
Eighteen, still doing the dishes. Terrible. So, uh, what did I do? I don't know what you thought about mine. I've yeah, already told you. Screwing around, got killed. I've been digging around, speaking to some people. I think I've got an answer. I've finally come to the conclusion. Oh, yeah, what's that? I don't know what it is. What are you doing? It was you. You offered money to the new formula, and you knew Martin to get it to you. You wanted all yourself, you screwed him, so you killed him. What? I had a great night at the party the other night. Till my drink got spiked. What was all that about? Worried I was onto you? Come on, admit it. What's all that about? Stop fucking around, Sammy. I'll let you go if you give me this. What? Alright, I spiked your drink. I heard you tell Jason you had the gear. Shannon thought if he tried you up, you'd talk. But you didn't. And? I killed him. But it wasn't just me. Shannon helped. We did it together. I'm sorry. I want to know everything. What? Why? Because you owe me. Tell me everything. Alright. The head offered me ten grand. I asked Shannon to get the gear. She refused. She said if the Persians found out, she'd be dead. And she told me about Martin. Persian loved your brother. Trust him with his life. Shannon persuaded him to do this. And he said yes. Martin picked up the gear at 11 o'clock. Shannon told him to meet us at the village for car park at 12. Midnight. She was in my car. I was waiting in the shadows outside. Martin arrived, got in the car. Shannon gave me the signal when he told her where the gear was. I went over, pulled him out, stabbed him. He dragged his body to the side of the road. What about the gear? <laughs> it wasn't where Martin told us. He must have put it somewhere else. I don't know why. The magician, he heard about your plan and all mine. He must have put it in a different locker. He gave the key to Raymond. He gave it to me. Sorry. I'm sorry? Do you think I came all this way for a sorry? I don't know what else I can say. I want you to say it was worth it. Why? Because no brother of mine would die in vain. You didn't say it. Alright, okay. It was worth it. You happy? It's for you. Adam Carver. Is this ahead? Mark Deacon. I know you took your gear and I know where to find it. Sonny, he soon realised the gear was worth more than 10 grand and decided to keep it for himself. He'll find the gear in his boot of his car outside his house. He's inside. How do I know? He told me. Sonny? 
I don't know they're in there. I mean, I didn't put them in there. I didn't. If you shut it. Lie to me. I'm sorry, but please. Now, my friend, it's time for you to pay the price. Huh? Sweet dreams, bitch. Go. Get your gear? Good. I thought maybe we could discuss my payment. Well, your answer to my questions were less than satisfactory. And the Wimble Road Bridge in half an hour. This is Mark. We need to speak to the curb and support. Found your gear. We'll head up here. Find the Wimble Road Bridge in half an hour. Just to get moving. No need. I wouldn't touch you with a barge pole. What happened to your head? It fell over. You should be more careful then. What can I do for you this time? Do you hear about Sonny? No. He's dead. So, it's not 
Michael Glenn. You think that? Before he died, he got a lot of his chest. More than you ever had. Really? Really. You tell me about the other one, 10 grand for the gear. Who was involved? I don't know what you're talking about. I'm sure you do. But even if you don't, I don't really care. Did you kill him? No. I left him to the head. He wasn't pleased. Well, whatever you think, you'll never prove I was involved. The only person who knew is dead, and nobody's going to believe you over me. You may think you're popular around here, but I can see how people look at you. I think you're a greedy, self-centred, arrogant little slut, and one day you're going to get what's coming to you. When hell freezes over... I'm sure it'll be a little sooner than you think. You don't scare me. So how much money you make, can not never pay. It's very funny. You want to be rich? Have you kid. Killed him. We won't just make shine out from here together. I'm sorry. You okay? What happened? Fine. Just have your laps with me. What are we meeting then? Froze. So it's all over now? Not quite. What do you mean? I thought you sorted it. I thought you knew who it was. Yesterday, I paid a visit to a magician, played Matt his own game, got what I wanted. He knew he was involved, Shannon and Sonny. But something told me about them that they weren't capable of killing, but they could be swayed. I managed to work that part out myself. But who was a killer? I had no idea, but wasn't sure, so he wrote it down on a card for me. He said the guy was close. I didn't realise how close. Then it got me thinking about your name in Martin's diary. Why is it crossed out? Wasn't clear why, though. Martin and I were friends. Then he started to work for the Persian and we grew apart. I was upset about that. One day Martin came to me. He said he needed my help. I didn't care what it was. I was just glad to be talking to him again. I don't understand. You were still friends. Apparently he heard the magician was in trouble and needed money to pay the Persian. He wanted to help the magician and he wanted me to help him. He said there was £8,000 in the safe somewhere. So one night we got the money. The magician needed 500 quid. I took 1000 and he took the rest. He told me to hide the money somewhere so no one would find out. But two days later, Rich comes into me and says, what's that money in your drawer? So what did you say? How do you answer that without sounding suspicious? They questioned me a lot. I kept my mouth shut. And then cried just so they'd leave me alone. Martin found me. Told me to keep quiet or he'd kill me. I asked why he did it. And why I had to take the blame. He said he had more to lose than me. It was more important than me. I was scared so I did what I was told. I took the blame. From then on I was the black sheep. They watched me like a hawk. Never trusted me because of him. I just wanted to see his face when I plunged this knife into him. So he could feel what I felt. I thought it better to stab him in the back, literally. Sonny and Shannon wanted the gear, yet couldn't risk leaving him alive. Neither was willing to kill him. So I stepped in. This is the most pathetic reason I've ever heard. You need to go some fucking balls. You know shit. He ruined my life. Martin never gave you the key in the envelope. He knew what you were going to do, and I suppose he was hoping it would get to me. But you took it from him. Why not? Makes the mugging effect more realistic, like he was robbed. I'd say it was fate. He fell out of your pocket in front of me. So he took the blame, though. Why? When I agreed to do it, I had one condition. If people started asking questions, and the heat went up, Sonny would take the fall. I made sure this time I'd not be the one taking the flak, and Sonny knew it. Anyway, he was under the impression by the time people were asking questions, he and Shannon would be long gone. Are you threatening a magician? I caught him outside after we were talking. I told him he'd be dead if he spoke. Just like Martin. Quite an influence on you then. Well, things wouldn't have panned out quite the same if it wasn't for him and I wouldn't have gained confidence in myself. Why help me if you didn't want me to find out? Honestly, I never thought of you as a detective. 
I thought if I stayed on your side, helped you out, you'd never figure. I guess I was wrong. Help! Someone! Somebody help me, please! 